I think this is a long-bodied cellar spider, Fulcus phalangioides. These spiders take about one year to mature, and as adults can live for another two to three years. Over a lifetime, a female lays several egg sacs of 30 eggs each. I can't tell if the prey just moved there or if the movement was due to something else. Was the prey still alive? Many captured prey are killed or at least paralyzed by venom, and cellar spiders do indeed use venom. On the other hand, this source suggests that cellar spiders first catch prey by throwing out silk from a distance, presumably before any venom is involved. One interesting fact about these spiders is explained by this source. Quote, the mother does not typically feed at all while she holds the eggs in her mouth. However, it's not unheard of. They have been witnessed hanging their egg sac in the web temporarily in order to feed, preen, or mate. End quote. This source explains that, quote, males and females have both been known to engage in cannibalism. Females have been seen invading another spider's web, eating that spider, and using the foreign web to catch new prey for themselves. End quote. Finally, I'll read snippets from abstracts of two more studies on this spider to give a further sense of what its life and cognitive abilities are like. This study says, quote, the behaviors used by Falcus phalangioides to evade its predators were studied, with particular attention being given to a special defense behavior, whirling. To whirl, this long-legged web-building spider swings its body around in a circle, with its legs remaining on the silk. Experiments were carried out to determine the types of stimuli that elicited whirling. Touching the spider or its web elicited whirling, as did air movement over the spider, but there was no evidence that chemical stimuli from potential predators were important. Besides catching prey on its own web, P. phalangioides invades other spiders' webs to catch the other spiders. By whirling in alien webs, P. phalangioides could deter attacks by the resident spider, but P. phalangioides was less inclined to whirl when in an alien than when in its own web." End quote. This study reports, quote, In double mating experiments, we examined whether and to what extent various male and female behavioral traits influenced the course of mating and fertilization success in the cellar spider. Second males fertilized a high proportion of the eggs, despite much shorter second matings, with high variation in relative paternity success. Our results suggest that in second matings, pedipalp movements help to remove sperm from previous males, whereas in first matings, a high number of pedipalp movements enhances fertilization success, either due to numerical sperm competition or cryptic female choice. End quote. 